If you thought that the Dyson V11 cordless vacuum series are beasts, the data of claim that they are Dyson's most powerful vacuums. You are not wrong, at least until the Jimmy JV85 Pro comes out anyway. No. So first things first, let's check what's inside the box. There you go. Here are what you can get from the box. What I really like about the Jimmy brand is that the Warbies provide pretty much every accessory you need. Not like some big brands that are only giving you certain or limited Canadian parts. And if you want to buy extra, then you have to spend more. Not to the design. On top, we can see there is a power button. Should press once to turn on or off. Next to it is the mode switch. Should press to switch among Eco, Turbo and Max. The small LED display is really simple, only shows you the remaining battery charge and the work mode. Move down the lithium battery, tap and hold the button, you can easily get it out from the battery compartment. Jimmy claims that it has an up to 70 minutes of working time, which is something remarkable as most cordless units struck around 50 minutes. We'll test out that later. Move to the right is the hyperfiltration module. Hold the lid and rotate anti-clockwise to remove from the motor head. You can also rotate anti-clockwise to remove the cycle assembly. The both are washable, but make sure to dry them before next use. Enough about all those. For the specs, I've just listed here. On the screen, you can pause to read if you are interested. I just can't wait to test how the performance is. It has the most powerful suction that I've never seen in any other cordless vacuum. I'm hoping 200 air watts. Even 50 air watts more than Dyson's most powerful vacuum, V11 outsides. To see how well the Jimmy GV85 Pro does at clean different types of dirt on different surfaces, I put it through a series of tests. Overall, I found no issues with the GV85 Pro at all. It does a superb, a wonderful job at cleaning, whether on small or large debris. Most of the time, it picks everything up in the initial forward pass. If not, sometimes like dealing with a larger power debris, then a few more repeats will pick up all. The beauty of this vacuum is even at the lowest setting, it can do an exceptionally good job at cleaning. That's why during the test, I seldom use the max suction mode. I always choose the eco or turbo mode. And you know what? I can get a good battery left from that. But during this test, I always feel there's something missing. Since it has such powerful suction, why not go a little bit extreme? So first, I test some paper bits. Okay, I have to admit a large parallel. Clean paper bits on hard or soft surfaces is always challenging to vacuums. The first time I use the main floor head to clean, it's not that good as you can see. Then I realized the floor head is made for the hard surface and doesn't have the best performance on carpet. So I changed the carpet brush roll. Oh man, it was extraordinary. Then I even go further. How about mixing it with rice? Again, I'm just shocked by how well it cleans. Why is it cannot suck? Maybe hair? Lots of hair? Wow! Battery? I wanted this! I don't know how Robo Rocket H6 did that, but I've seen some vacuums can do this. Actually, GV85 Pro can do this as well. Don't get me wrong, we are selling the Roborock H6 too, and it's not a bad product. We did a review before and I love it. It's just that video that made it seems... I don't believe it. And I don't think there is a vacuum can do that now or in the future. Anyway, from those unusual tests, it did an outstanding job. I'm really impressed. I wouldn't say it's a perfect product and it cleans up everything as we want, but hey, you are living in a modern house. It cannot be that messy. For the tools that come in the box, in my opinion, enough for daily cleaning chores. By the way, some of are for the flexible design on the metal tube, so you can easily clean up those hard to reach places. 
By the way, there will be a bracket available on GitBuy that lets you place all the GIF 85 Pro parts if you don't want to punch holes in your house. I like it since I can always place the bracket anywhere I want. Stay tuned for that. So to conclude, should you get the Jimmy GIF 85 Pro? It's definitely yes if you need one. In my opinion, the Jimmy GIF 85 Pro is another great alternative to Dyson V11 wireless vacuum based on the tests I did. I wouldn't say it's the best among all vacuums. It does have a few downsides like it's a little bit heavy to hold, the noise is a bit annoying just like all other vacuums that I've tested. But those wouldn't be deal breakers if you consider the advantages of this GF85 Pro. It exceeds my expectations when it comes to its performance on hard and soft surfaces, even does a great job on those extreme tests. It has a great battery life, and what makes it even better is the removable battery. You can buy as many as you want if you have a large house. It is a versatile stick vacuum at the same time. It comes with enough tools that work in different areas well. And most importantly, the great value. As Gibbon incorporated with Jimmy to debut this GF85 Pro vacuum globally, you can get it now at a price of 349 US dollars. Later, it will go up to 399 US dollars. So, don't miss the chance. Half the price of this big brands, but comes with high quality. You will get your clean job done nicely and comfortably. You can check the link from here or down below. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Jimmy GV85 Pro, please leave a comment below. And Sammy, see you next time.